I'm going to explain Descartes' rule and how to use it to find the real rational zeros of a polynomial. So there's two parts. First part, in polynomial Px, the number of positive zeros is either equal to the number of sign variations or this number subtracted by a random even number so what does this mean let's take this polynomial px let's count the variation in sign so it starts here positive five right that's one change it goes to negative and it changes again that's two changes three changes so there's three variations in sign in sign so how many positive real zeros would i have well it would be either three or three minus an even number so that could be one so there's either three or one positive real zeros in this polynomial now how about the second part the second part is pretty much the same thing but for negative zeros so instead of counting variations in sign in px like you do here you're counting it in p negative x okay how do you compute p negative x take your p and just put in negative x now let's count the sign changes so it changes once here, changes again, three. So it changes sign three times, three variations in sign. So the rule states that the amount of negative real rational zeros is either equal to the variations in sign, which is again three, or three minus whatever even number. So it's the same thing. So it's, there's either three or one negative zeros in px so now we know there's anywhere between two to six real zeros in this polynomial px if you want practice problems for what i covered today they're in my discord they're in the description